Today I have got my 74th Lego haul, which this is combined from a stop at Barnes & Noble, Shields, Target, and two Shop at Home orders. Technically one was a pick -a order from Shop at Home, but it's technically they ordered it as two. So, we'll start out with the small things, which we've got two Looney Tunes CMFs, which I traded two with a friend of mine to get one that they had and a complete lucky grab for a blind bag. And I got the last two missing ones that I want for the main six, which we've got Sylvester and Daffy Duck to add to the collection. And then we've got it kind of just spread out as we've got another Amelia Earhart tribute, which was drop 1,500 points in the reward center, and you get that added. And that started, I think, August 1st is when that started. And I thankfully saw that thanks to thing on Facebook, and I jumped on it, even though I still have a sealed copy. Now this might actually convince me to open one of them so that I can keep one sealed as an investment. And then we've got another gift with purchase, which is another skater polybag. So that makes three copies of this set now. And that I ordered for getting over $40 when I placed my pick -a order, which was almost $50 of pick -a and about 99% of it's going towards my next project, which will be a mock pet store for my city. And then we've got the most surprising find from Target, which is the Lego Ideas Winnie the Pooh set. And this has been on my wanted list pretty much since it came out. And to find it at Target was kind of a definite grab, even though it was 100 bucks. I really want to add this into my forest and maybe it'll give me some more larger trees in my forest since I'm not going to pay 200 to get the treehouse. I don't dislike the treehouse set, but it's a bit too big for my forest area. And then we've got a little bit of Scooby-Doo, which was actually found at Hot Topic at my local mall. And we've got another pair of Scooby-Doo socks, this one with the Hex Girls on it. And I couldn't really pass it up when my friend spotted that. And so I got those to add to the Scooby-Doo collection. And then we've got the one three-in-one creator set that I've kind of been on the fence about. And I found this at Barnes & Noble. And it was... 10% off just because it was damaged and it's a lot worse from the back so I'm not that's why I'm showing you guys just the front I don't because it's the picture friendly side but the back is got some pretty big holes in it but the bags are still surprisingly still sealed so that was so nice and I plan to actually build this pretty much immediately after I finish this video and then we've got this little Jurassic World set from last year for the summer releases Dr. Wu's Lab and Baby Dinosaur Breakout set and I just I got this to just do something a little different I might do something with the baby dinosaurs maybe have them kind of as an attraction in my amusement park the lab setup That'll be getting the same treatment as the Jurassic Park diorama, which will be just probably taking up space on my shelves. And then we've got the smallest of the new wildlife rescue sets with 
the wildlife rescue ATV set. This was really the only one that I wanted for the new wildlife sets. So thankfully found that at a sporting goods store that actually sells Lego. And so since that was the only place that had the set, I jumped on it and got it for the monkeys. And then we've got the big thing basically for this entire haul. This is a, this is honestly to me this is more important than the Winnie the Pooh set and that's the new 3-in-1 Ferris wheel set. Since I have the other two 3-in-1 fairground sets, I had to get this set. Not only because I want to keep the 3-in-1 fairground sets, keep those going as they come out with more, but I missed out on the 2015 Creator Expert Ferris wheel and I've always wanted a Ferris wheel in my city. So I ended up getting this. I don't plan to do the other two builds. I'm going to jump right into the main build, which probably won't be until next year, just because Beach House is priority, and I really want to space out the three-in-one sets. Since I have three now, which I have the Mighty Dinosaur as well, but that is kind of a backup three-in-one creator set. And then we've got, for the final set, we have the Lego Movie 2 Queen Whatever whatever Box, which I actually got 50% off at Target. And to get a retired set from Target that's actually retired according to Shop at Home was a definite grab. So I don't know what I'll do with it. Probably it'll just stay sealed for now. But that's what I've got for sets. And then we've got my pick a brick that I've been waiting on for a month. And that actually showed up yesterday while the Ferris wheel and Amelia Earhart showed up just this morning. So now with everything for pretty much the rest of the year in hand for me, that's out. The last thing really remaining would be the Home Alone Ideas set. I'll be able to actually work on finishing up my final mock for my city, which is going to be a pet store. And you guys will see a thoughts video for the 3-in-1 Creator Beach House, possibly in a couple of days. So, you guys can tell me your thoughts on this haul video in the comments section below. And just like and subscribe for more, because I will do more in the future.